Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Phil with the IP Tut Quick View. Quick uh yeah. It's gonna be a quick something. Um I'm guessing you probably watched the first part of this. If you haven't, the link should be somewhere on the screen right now. Um I kinda I usually go, you know, step by step, but right now I'm just gonna kinda just go over it quickly. Um that way we're not sitting here for hours upon hours. Um, talking about this um, so uh, right now I'm going to show you how to do the shatter effect which is actually it's simple but complicated all in itself let me see if I can get this thing to render um, for you real quick and I'll just talk about it um, I did this for for what the hell part one which part two is actually going to be filmed this Saturday um, or pretty soon depending on when you're watching this tutorial um, and so yeah I'm working on that. I actually wrote a script for that, which is odd because I never write a script. That was actually my very first script. So um, thumbs up on this video for writing for for me writing my first script, which has nothing to do with this actual tutorial. Um, <laughs> all right, so waiting on this thing to render. All right, so this this is the effect I'm going to be showing you. Um, it's it's actually fairly simple, for the most part. After you get the the shatter done. Um, which it's it's all done automatically. You don't have to go piece by piece, which would suck royally. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, let's see. First off, what we do is we start with our footage. Um, footage of our actor, which is for me, it's David acting like he's being hit. Let me go ahead and uh, go into the whole thing real quick. Um, and so what he does is he he flinches, he gets hit. And that's pretty much as far as it goes, I believe. Um, I had him scoot out the way because I wasn't really sure how I was going to execute this um, at the time. Because there was actually three or four different effects I was going to do. One was going to be him getting hit, one, you know, shattering. Another one, he was going to fly against the wall. Let's get back on subject. All right, so, um, so he gets hit, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Alright, so we come over here. Let's X that out. I take it, I duplicate the layer, and then I freeze frame it. Um, not the audio. I freeze frame it. Um, the freeze frame is actually this one here. That's the first one, that's the second one, that's the third. Alright. Um,. All right, so I I got him flinching being hit. Also, as he moved, I kept the, the camera rolling and got a clean plate. So when it when he shattered, um, you know, I it was the background was still there. Um, and right here is all you got to do is the simple switch a roux. In this point, um, you would just go and take that uh that clean plate and stick it behind, and then you take your actual shatter, which is this one right here. And replace the original footage with that, um, which is this one right here. Um, and so this is him shattering. And so all I did with that was I took it, I went to time, and I freeze framed. And what I did was I freeze framed it and then I rotoscoped him out using the pen tool. Um, I believe. Yeah, here goes the mask right here. Let me go ahead and show you that. Um, right there, there it goes. Uh, oh, also you can turn on and off the mask outlines by clicking this button if you didn't know that. Um, and so I rotoscoped him out and then I went over here and I got shatter. And I place it on, and then I mess with it. Now that this is going to, I would, you know, kind of walk through that with you, but it's going to be different um, for you because your shot's obviously going to be totally different from mine. Um, and you just kind of just mess with the settings, and you just shatter your your actor. Um, and you, you have all kinds of good stuff here, like like physics and lighting um, and stuff like that. Uh, and so I did that. And then I took that after I got the shatter right, and I was like, "Hey, I like the way that shatters and falls to pieces." 
I believe I duplicated it um, down this way here and added shatter and then I added trap code shine to that which gave it this right here this nice little glow effect and so I put that on top of it I put the original on top of the shine one and it kind of just gave it a little bit more and I was like hey you know what I like the way that looks let's add a little bit more to it so I went ahead and I added a lens flare um, just as the impact or him just kind of imploding or or falling apart um, which is from a video called Polly's optical flares um, which is probably one of my favorite plugins to, to use I use it in pretty much everything I do for the most part um, I like it myself obviously um, so then I was like, okay you know that looks okay but let's let's add a little bit more to it so then I went ahead and added adjustment layer uh, changed the color of not only David but the background as well um, I added a tint and as the blast effect happens he uh, as, he, as the blast effect happens it changes colors into more of an animated type uh, feel to it I, I don't know I I really don't know what I was thinking at that point, but I liked it. <laughs> so I, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to leave it in. Um, also, that white part of him, once again, is just that duplicated version of him um, with that shine on him, which creates more of a white highlight. And so they kind of turn white right there. And then you fade on that top original version, the colored version of him from the opacity coming in. Um, as you can see right here, it happens, and then he turns in, and it comes on, and then he shatters, uh, which gives it more of a a spontaneous, like, combust type feel. It's, it's hard to explain, but you see it. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's see what else. Um, I added a camera, which is blah, blah, blah. Let's see what else is here. Oh, then, of course, the uh, the original ball of energy from the blaster tutorial and the uh, the plasma particles which is actually just um, the same thing but I made it go longer in Z space or not Z, Z space but on the X Y axis to give it more of the following the energy ball coming from the blaster on this side um, and then I also just duplicated that particle and timed it for when he gets hit he uh those particles explode as well over here like that and so it's like an impact um and so it kind of leaves them with that like i said it's very simple uh you can you can definitely do it it's easy um and i believe that is it as far as everything's concerned um you just want to make sure you know you stay consistent with everything regardless of what it is you want to make sure that it's all the same um, if you if you don't know how to do this particle or the plasma looking stuff uh, check out the first part of this tutorial um, or just the, the blaster tutorial I, I go into it in depth there um, so I I guess that's it um, this has been Phil with the IP Tech quick view or an overview or whatever I choose to call it now <laughs> thank you for watching um, check out the inconsistent pictures fan page um, send me a message hit me up don't forget to subscribe rate comment um, let me know if this was helpful uh, I, I know I kind of just vaguely went through it but if I was to sit here and try to go step by step we'd be here for hours upon hours trying to render this stuff um, and so you kind of see what I'm doing you can just hop in there just just get dirty with it I didn't know what I was gonna do and till I got in there and I was like hey you know what this is what this is what it is um, part two of WTH or what the hell is coming up uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned into that that one's gonna be an interesting one because I actually wrote a script for it which I've never I've never wrote a script before ever um, so um, this is actually you know my first script and my first script to screen so you guys are definitely going to want to check that out uh, subscribe and stay tuned to that uh, thank you for watching I am Phil Take care, have fun filming, and just do what you got to do. 
All right. <laughs> Bye.